Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with the Sun and Moon OU Live. This time we're going to be using Gengar, a team uh, around, you know, Neverending Nightmare Gengar, Z-Move Gengar that my buddy Flame Victini passed me. Really fun. I enjoyed it. Done a couple games with it. Also played him with it a couple times. Um, but, yeah, uh, Gengar is definitely one of those mons that I don't. I think a lot of people sleep on this generation. Uh, while this Ghost Team Z set might not be the best set, it actually puts in a lot of work, especially versus my opponent, who doesn't have a Ghost Resist, which is part of the reason why Gengar is so good right now. Anyway, I really like Tapu Koko as a lead. Um, Gengar is one of the few things stopping Venusaur as well, but I really like Tapu Koko as a lead. Uh, it really does put in work versus my opponent's team who has no ground type. At the same time, I would see Venusaur. This could be Defog Regular Scizor. Probably is Defog Regular Scissor. Regular Gyarados as well. That's good to know. Uh, Taunt, Caldeo puts in work as well. I'm going to lead off with uh, Coco though. Leads off with Azumarill. Now, while I could go right for... Hey. Uh, I definitely don't want to go for Thunderbolt. I actually want to go for Nature's Madness because Venusaur is probably my opponent's best switch in or Heat Ran. As that looks to be Rock's Tran uh, since he switched it right in. And what I can do right now is just hit that boy up with a Taunt. Taunt him real quick. Well, he can't get up Stealth Rock. And then proceed just to beat him down with uh, the Thunderbolt. I do have a few more turns of Electric Terrain. And this is also one of his few Gengar switchings. Not the best Gengar switching. As you can tell, I'm a very bulky top of Coco. So, just being able to get this damage off on Heat Ran. For the point of being able to click... Um, for the purpose of being able to click Shadow Ball later is great. Now, I kind of regret, though, not going for U-Turn Turn 1, as I would have been able to just trap Heat Ran with Dug Trio. But at least now, Venusaur is going to come out, hit that man up with a Nature's Madness as well, weaken it for my uh, Gengar, as he's able to knock me out with Sludge Bomb. However, it is time. Gengar is in. Gengar is not. Well, I'm very weak to uh, Gyarados, though. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, we'll go right to Gengar now and just click Nature's Madness. There's no way I'm not. Then again, Sludge Wave might actually be able to knock it out. Let me count this. If Venusaur took 16 from... Hmm. Venusaur. Defensive tank. Sure. Gengar. Unfortunately, I'm not Life Orb. Life Orb would easily take it out. Unfortunately, I'm not Life Orb. Sludge Wave still does 40 to 41. I actually want to go for Shadow Ball here as opposed to Sludge Waving. Because I would think that my opponent would go Magirna. Yeah, assuming it's Assault Vest. It takes 21% and I get a Spadef drop, which is great uh, because Volt Switch is a really good play my opponent can make right here. So, um, I doubt he Flash Cannon immediately. And we can weaken this Magirna for a late game. Uh, it does go for Flash Cannon, okay. Huh, Scizor is still very good in this matchup. My Scizor anyway. It beats Magirna, it can beat Tran now, it beats Venusaur. I gotta be careful about this thing though. I don't want him to go for Fleur Cannon. We're gonna go Scizor. Yeah, we're gonna go Scizor. As my opponent doubles out to their own Scizor. That's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go for a regular U-turn in this form because I don't want to Mega and get the speed boost. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope my play made sense. I was thinking about Mega Evolving, but there's a one time where I think not Mega Evolving Scizor is a better play because I know I'm guaranteed slower. I have negative speed IVs and I can get off a U-turn right here as Heat Rain is gonna come out. And this gives me Keldeo. Keldeo has a beautiful switching. And I can just click Scald now. And Taunt. I went Keldeo because I can Taunt and Scald everything. Mainly like Gyarados, Venusaur as well. Uh, if Gyarados wants to come out and risk this Scald burning, great. And I actually end up getting the burn as well. So I wouldn't have risked that if I was my opponent. But we're definitely going to go out to Landers now and just get up our rocks. Uh, I could Taunt it. But I'm not too worried about him. Plus, I don't want to go in immediately for a Z move, as it did go right for Supersonic Sky Strike. So, that did 19. Beautiful damage. This is a tough mod for my opponent to switch into. Look at up Stealth Rock because you're no, you're not going to be doing anything to me. You're not going to be doing anything to me. So, rocks are up now, and I can just hit him up with a U-turn. Choose the Dragon Dance. I don't think that. I really don't think it matters. I don't because I can go right out to my Scizor and uh, I know that U-Turn knocks it out after burn damage and I don't want Heat Rain coming in so I'm going to go for U-Turn, Mega Evolve and just U-Turn right here. Uh, keep a momentum 
regardless of taking this plus <laughs> this, this waterfall, it's not even plus one. <laughs> uh, my opponent actually ends up flinching me, which I guess is better in a sense because I can go for roost now. But at the same time, it just lost me that turn. I didn't want rocks going up against me. Uh, however, Scizor is now at full, and it's just looking so good versus my opponent. Uh, we're going to go Keldeo because we do have Taunt again, and I expect a Lava Plume or Stealth Rock. And I could just throw off a Scald here. Uh, my opponent, what they should do is actually sack Gyarados and then bring out Venusaur. Which is a good play. The burn on Gyarados was definitely lucky. Had I not gotten the burn, I would have had to go for uh, Taunt immediately. But Venusaur is going to come out. I'm just going to Taunt right here so he can't go for uh, Synthesis. Nice. And Giga Drain is going to come out, so we're going to go Scizor. Scizor takes Giga Drain and HP Fire. And uh, it doesn't give Venusaur enough recovery, and I can recover later versus his own Scizor. So we're going to go for U-Turn here. Again, just keep up momentum. And bring in Gengar, and just click Shadow Ball. Something is to a KO or goes down to it. How much is uh, Venusaur at? Oh, it's in range of Hydro Pump, or Secret Story, excuse me. Or Scald. So, uh, Heat Ring goes down, and now SD Scizor wins the game. <laughs> I guess Magirna could come out if it wants to try to. Or Azu. Maybe it's Belly Drum Azu. Is that an issue if it's Belly Drum Azu? It'd be regular Belly Drum, though, so I'd be able to get off this damage to Will for Bullet Punch and knock it out. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, Lando. Um, because it can't be Z Belly Drum. Not that that makes a difference in this turn, I think. Doubles out into Scizor. Which gives me an Earthquake. I don't think defogging even matters either. I'm just going to go for Earthquake. Do some some damage. Get some... <laughs> yeah, if my opponent wants to U-turn as well, I still get up my I still get up my rocks. Switches out directly into Venusaur. Wow. Uh, well, Earthquake here. <laughs> I was able to knock him out. Yeah, I don't know why. That's why I said wow. Like Because I, I, I wouldn't have made the play myself. But Oz is going to come out. You could be Belly Drum, but I'm an Earthquake as well. Because at least if you get your Citrus, you won't be getting any recovery. As Waterfall is able to knock me out. And now I can just win the game with... Uh... Huh. How much is my gear not? I want a never-ending nightmare or something. Stay. <laughs> my jam bats. Click Earthquake. Knock out Azu. Uh, I'm assuming it was Bandit just based on the way it was played. Uh, not... <laughs> not, um, what's it called? I was assuming it was Bandit, not AV. Let's go for Earthquake again. We're adamant. Get some damage off. I still win the game at the end of the day. I have Mega Scizor in the back. And there's no way my opponent can win. I will just go Mega Scizor and play the safe route. Whatever. It makes me sad. I don't want to make that play. I want a never-ending nightmare. Oh, SD Up just wins the game, though. I'm never-ending nightmare or something. I don't care. Defog all you want, buddy. I will get the plus six. Not really. I just have to get plus four to win. My opponent did not let me. Never ending nightmare. But fear not, friends. It will happen. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. Whatever. We'll win this way. I didn't want to win this way. I want a never ending nightmare. At least Coco did its role, uh, role of weakening Tran and keeping Venusaur low, which is exactly what I wanted. We'll look for another one. Uh, definitely the uh, burn on Gyarados mattered completely. Uh, it threw off my opponent's entire game plan, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure it did, because uh, Gyarados could have been played a lot differently, though the fact that it would have been intimidated, it still would have been uh, annoying. Ah, no Ghost Resist again. My Joy Sync, Timer on, we're going to lead off with Coco, because I do have Taunt for his own Skarmory lead, or Manaphy. Lovely. I expect, uh... Ooh, fancy. Is he top of Coco? Are you saying fancy? You know, I don't even care if uh, Marowak gets up rock. I'm calling for Thunderbolt. I'm not going to risk you turning. Yeah, it goes Magirna. So, I got some Chris damage for a late game Scissor Sweep, maybe. Hit with the U-turn here. I bet you I could trap this with Dugtrio and not and get away with it. I wonder if Dugtrio actually dies. Magirna. Oh, that's salt best damage. He died flash cannon because I'm about to I'm about to risk you. Seems it does 96 to 113. This is a roll in my face. 
Jokes aside, um... Scizor is probably the best play. HP Fire is something my opponent can have. But, what I can do now is Mega Evolve, you turn directly into Dugtrio. Because my opponent should Volt Switch here. Or go hard Marowak. Uh, either way, U-turn is my best play. Yep. Nice. And I get to go right into Gengar. Put in some work. Hello! Hello, my child. Gengar's at 74. Doesn't matter. I click Shadow Ball anyway. Regardless of what play you make. Let me get some crisp damage off. I want to block Momentum. Hmm. Yeah, I want to block my opponent from potentially going for Volt Switch, so I'm actually going to go Landers, though Flash Cannon is the best play my opponent could possibly make. Yeah, it goes right for Volt Switch. Uh, Flare Cannon can come out now. I'll play it safe and go for Earthquake. Uh, though Skarmory's out, because Skarmory means we trade hazards, and if my opponent wants to defog, then they defog for me as well. So, just playing it safe right now. We get up another nice young rocks. Ooh, Timered. There's a U-turn. Break it sturdy. Red card. <laughs> no! My jam bats. Toxic defog. Stealth Rock? Or are you Stealth Rock Marowak? There's Red card. Interesting. And it's Brave Bird. Cool set. Okay. So you can't beat Scizor. You actually cannot beat Scizor. And I can just U-turn out to Tabu Koko. I'll take this. Um, another play that actually, though a lot more aggressive, uh, because of the attack drop, I think I can afford to go out into Keldeal and just click Scald. Especially because Sturdy is broken. And Magirna so low. Yeah, so we'll definitely just click Scald here. Because Magirna, my friend, you are not a switching. You are not a switching. I put another Scald. I am worried about Manaphy being the, um... I I'm worried about Manaphy being... Z Rain Dance, which it's looking like. But at least we got rid of Magirna so early. So Alakazam and Manaphy are coming out. I can't taunt Manaphy, unfortunately, because Z Rain Dance can't be taunted. But I can weaken it. Or because Z Moves can't be taunted, rather, is the correct... Thing I should say there. Yeah, Zammer. Hard Zam, huh? Um, hmm. I can pursue trap this. Scizor is so obvious. I don't want to go hard, Scizor. Coco healthy is really nice. It's faster than everything. This is Mega Zam, though, so it won't be faster than that. Lander is still checks. Marowak can get some timid. Sorry, I'm just talking out loud, but obviously that's what I'm doing. But <laughs> I'm gonna go Coco just in case uh, my opponent opts to go for the uh, focus blast here. Trace my electric surge. And plus I get my Magu bear. Well, not yet. No. Alright, so you're definitely not going for focus blast now. Maybe Shadow Ball. But I can go out to Coco. I'm faster than the prior to Mega Evolution, obviously, but we'll go out to Coco here. Uh, Scizor, excuse me. Though Shadow Ball does have a chance to get a split death drop, which would be annoying. I can still then trap it with Dugtrio after. Yeah, I think I'm just fine. If you get a split death drop, then I'll bullet punch it and trap you with Dugtrio. That did 27, man. Good lord. I'm roosting. Oh, and he has HP fire. Oh, that's not good. Uh, the great thing is that I only needed that mod for this, and I could trap it with Dugtrio now, but... <sighs> well, if this doesn't kill, I'm in a bad situation. Ah, man. Shouldn't have risked the HP fire, that was my bad. Yeah, I just lose. Yeah, good game. I shouldn't have risked the HP fire. All right, if I, if I would have risked the HP fire, what I should have done was bullet punch, if I was willing to risk the HP fire. I think at the end of the day, Manaphy still dominated, though. Okay, so I gotta be careful about HP Fire, Fast Psychics, aka 
literally like we have right here. <laughs> At least I'm learning the team as we go. I really like Gengar as elite. Yeah, because it matches up well versus Coco. I don't know if he'd risk me being Scarf. He'd probably just U-turn out anyway. There's no reason not to go Scarf Duxtrio. Yeah, there, there's still no reason. I, I stand by my play. There was no reason not to go out to Duxtrio there. Um, you don't risk it. He doesn't risk me being Scarf though. I, Rotom is an odd mid-ground play. Gyarados is so threatening. I gotta be careful about how I play around this Rotom. I don't think Keldra does as much, so I'm actually gonna risk it right here just to take off the... Uh, because it's definitely Mega Metagross. It's definitely Mega Metagross and Z-Move Gyarados. And Keldra doesn't do anything in this game. So, let's get off some damage with the Sacred Sword. Put it in range of Gengar. All the damage I wanted. As now in range of Sludge Wave from Gengar. It should be. Or to a KO'd at least. Uh, Metagross is something that can come out. Or Gyarados. Alright, so you're going to be taunted so you can't set up, buddy. Yeah. Who goes for DD this early? I definitely wouldn't have. We can go Landers now. And get off an Intimidate as well as get off some uh, chip damage on Gyarados for the Waterfall Earthquake. Nice. I do want to attempt to get up Rocks here, though. Especially because you're not going to be doing too much to me. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, the top play doesn't matter. Even if you set up, I don't care. I, I, it doesn't make a difference. Because I do have a uh, duck here on the back. It's annoying. But there's no way your uh, AV Metagross plus Excadrill. So, um, it's annoying that I have to risk Stone Edge. That's what's annoying, but... <laughs> there's no way... Uh... <sighs> Is it... You're not Mega Gyarados. Come on. Well, Scarf Dugtrio, which Revenge killed Lele, Tapu Koko, Excadrill, Metagross, and even Gyarados, has failed to get it done. Then again, the team is weak itself to Gyarados, so... I don't know. That's, uh, that's annoying. Uh, that's all I gotta say. That's annoying for me. That's extremely annoying. I can go out to Coco, though. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty positive I live a neutral Earthquake. Because I'm bulky. And I live from Max Attack Aerodactyl, so I'm going to go for Thunderbolt. I do live in Earthquake. And I don't want to Dragon Dancing. I don't care. Uh, losing Ducktrail sucks for the uh, the end game. But... Oh, man, I, I, I also shouldn't have messed around with the, uh, the extra drill now. Um, because now, though his team is extremely, extremely weak to Scizor, I'm very weak to extra drill. And Rotom is annoying. I really wish I had this Stone Edge. I'm tall here. I don't think you're scarf drill. I think you're rocks drill. You can rapid spin all you want, but I don't want you. Uh, I don't want you setting up rocks. Yeah, that's fine. Just didn't want my opponent setting up rocks. I'm up with a nice turn, 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 turn. Hard, hard Lando. All right, so it's not scarf drill, thankfully. I right, go ahead and take some chip. Get up our rocks here. You want to keep iron hitting, that's fine too. I will get these rocks up. These rocks will stay up. Rotom is a very good mid ground play. Coco, how much do you do, Coco? I still like. I don't like Keldeo, but the fact that he's not Scarf now, I do like Keldeo just a little bit. Coco is still faster than Metagross, though. You would Hydro Pump here, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm going to go Coco. I'm going Coco. Actually, Volt Switch when everything dies to Hydro Pump. I mean, it's still the exact same scenario. I, I U turn right back out into Lando, I get off an Intimidate, and I get up my rocks once again. I just thought Hydro Pump was the better play that my opponent could make that turn. Maybe I'm just a little bit off. Right back out of Lando, get some chip damage off on this drill. And I'll just spam rocks now. You can rapid spin all you want, buddy. You're gonna die eventually. I'm just worried about Lele, man. I'm just so worried about Lele. 
I can also vote Gengar. Since I knew Rapidson was an option. But Rocks is still the best mid ground play. Yeah. How much is uh Keldeo at at this point, I don't think Keldo actually matters as much. We're gonna stack that. I, I'm, I'm gonna keep my uh, my Coco around just so I can bullet punch Lele later. And then Hydro Pumps now. Yeah, I think he should have done that before. But Gengar comes out. And I click Shadow Ball. Do I can click. I'll click Sludge Wave. I'm gonna really, I'm uh, bluff the Scarf. I would love to sub here though. If my opponent ends up sacking actually, that would be amazing. But I'm gonna go Sludge Wave. What if this guy's AV wrote him? <laughs> this is the way it's been played. Uh, but I'm sludge waving to bluff Scarf. That way he doesn't go Coco or um, Lele. Nice. Alright, so this Mon's dead. I'm hoping you go Metagross now and I can never ending nightmare you. So let's go ahead and win this speed tie and get this never ending nightmare off. That would be amazing just to kill Metagross. And we got it. Let's go. Ah, Metagross is gone! Alright, so, Scizor is looking just as good, and the reason winning that speed tie was so huge is because it means that I don't have to, um... Thunderbolt, Oko, Gar from full? Probably does. Gar's good for death, though. God, Thunderbolt, always Oko. What if you're not Life Orb? You know what, you're not Life Orb, sir. 86 to 101. Let's go ahead and go off the out. Because if it's Scarf Lele, I need to keep my Coco alive. I'm going to land there. If you have HP Ice or Dazzling Gleam, if you like the U-turn variant that... Oh, he's physical. Okay, this is amazing. I can just click Earthquake now. That's amazing. That, that was probably the best turn I, I've as, ever asked for. So not only do we keep up rocks, but able to knock out Excadrill there. I can keep Lando alive. Coco is gonna come out. You have to. What are you gonna do? Are you Choice Scarf? I'm just gonna go Earthquake. Yeah, go ahead and take some damage. That is what I like to see. That is what I like to see. You choice Ban? What? What? What's? What are you? I have no idea what set this is. And the great thing is, I can safely bullet punch here, no matter, even if you go Lele, because I sack, I sack my, uh, I sack my Tapu, um, my own Coco, right, to get up the terrain, and if you go for, uh, HP Fire, or if you go for anything that's not Psychic, I go Gengar. Yes. And it turns out my opponent is not Scarf, which means that Gengar is going to get its kill right here. And then I just click uh, Bullet Punch with Scizor and win the game. Nice. Nice. So, uh, it still would have been amazing, though, if I actually hit that Stone Edge versus Gyarados, because you saw how well um, Duck Show traps everything. But Coco's going to come out. While it charges me, going to take a ton, and I just Bullet Punch that thing with my Scizor and knock it out, and that'll be game. Nice. I'll take it. GG. Alright, so let's look for uh, another one. Keep going. Uh, that speed tie being won by Metagross was huge because not only did it give me... Or, excuse me. That speed tie being won versus Metagross was huge because not only did it give me an extra sack, but it also... It just gave me... The momentum was crazy. The momentum was crazy. Um, having that extra sack, that way uh, I can keep on... Playing around Lele if it was potentially Scarf or Specs. Okay, let's see how much I can do in this game. Having a spinner in Feromosa isn't the best for my opponent. I'm gonna lead off a Scizor because it matches up very well versus uh, Mammal Swine. Uh, I was thinking about leading off a Coco, but I was pretty—I <laughs> don't want to say adamant, but I was pretty positive my opponent would lead off with Mammal Swine, <laughs> and I bullet punched there just because rocks are being set up. Like, there's no way rocks aren't going to be set up. So I'd rather get off damage with Bullet Punch. And then U-turn right here on what I'm expecting to be Tox Specs. Yeah, Tox Specs is a little bit annoying. Uh, Keldeo is really good in this game. Hey. Keldeo is very good in this game. Ferrothorn comes out. 
I would love to get up rocks of my own. I don't, I don't even care about spikes. Uh, but I'm going to go Caldeo here and just click Scald because I can potentially burn the Tox Specs. I don't think you'd stay in with your, uh, your Ferrothorn. I really don't think you'd stay in with Ferrothorn on a potentially Specs Caldeo. Maybe you would. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Good protect, good protect. And I'll just click Secret Sword now. <laughs> I'll just click Secret Sword now. Even if you go Tox Specs. Uh, I, I always taunt and beat it down with Skull Taunt. 1v1. Seems like a balance of sorts. Ah, 41%. Good. Spikes protect. So I'm assuming Leech Seed as last you know what i want rocks for uh charizard i've decided as much as i hate that uh, specs are annoying but i can deal with them but i want rocks for charizard inductio traps tapu coco it can trap zard so you definitely spikes protect leech seed what pyro whip or gyro ball hard zard Zard Y then? Why are you Zard Y? If you're actually Zard Y, then this doesn't do anything for me. Like this mon being in here doesn't do crap for me. Hmm. This is where we choose to sack. Scizor, Chex, Feramosa, and Coco can win if these this mon is dead. I want Gengar alive because it actually stops Feramosa and it breaks through my opponent's team whenever it comes in. It's just Shadow Balls into Never Ending Nightmares. Let me count Gengar real quick. Gengar, Non Life or Kings, whatever. I'll put two Shadow Balls, that way I can make one of them a Z move. Shadow Ball, Z. Tox Apex, 31 to 37. 62 to 74. Okay. That's the info I needed to know. We'll go Caldeo. As a mid-ground play. At least just to get off some damage for Coco. I want Coco Latter because it, it can revenge kill this. You're going to go for Fire Blast here anyway, right? So. Uh, Mrs. Fire Blast, unfortunately, I can get off. Uh, Mystic Water boosted Hydro Pump. It didn't matter because Fire Blast wouldn't have vocoded me anyway. Um, but I can get off this, this Hydro Pump here. His Toxic Effect is going to come out. And the great thing about Toxic is I don't even I, I don't necessarily care about getting up T spikes because I always have one my team doesn't care too much about that. Two, I always have Gengar in the back to absorb it. So I'm actually just gonna throw off a Scald here. I'm um, trying to burn it. Seems my opponent's game plan is the exact same thing, and he has accomplished it first. Unfortunately, I'm assuming Coco might come out too, but I want this burn uh, so I can make Shadow Ball to Never Ending Nightmare. The roll in my favor. It would be so nice if this actually burnt. Come on, Caldeo. Get us some crisp, crisp, crisp chip damage. Some chip. Sun about to end too. I would actually go Coco, but I guess he doesn't want to weaken Coco too much. Ooh, the T spike. That doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I'll just scald here. I don't think the T spike matters at all. Yeah. I'm actually pumped because it's strong. Oh, and he sacks Mammoth Sun, which is amazing. Uh, we miss it, but it doesn't matter. I can just click Scald after. Mammoth Sun being gone is great because if I get up, I can get up a sub versus um, Tox Apex with my Gengar, and Shadow Ball into Never Ending Nightmare will knock it out. So I don't mind taking this extra damage. It's not Adamant Life Orb. Sorry, Gator. And Charizard is going to be coming in at 50%. Uh, if Feramosa wants to come in, has to rapid spin in order to kill me. Coco comes out. Probably going to try and Volt Switch, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not going to risk going... Uh, I'm not going to risk going Dutra there. Uh, though it would have been amazing, Coco is now in range of two bullet punches anyway. Feramosa comes out. We'll just absorb these toxic spikes now. 
and throw off a shadow ball. No shadow ball switches on my opponent's side. Yeah. Uh, and Faramosa will soon be in range of the bullet punch. All, if he goes Toxapex, then it's pretty much dead, so. Exactly. That does nothing. I don't want to sub because it makes Faramosa more annoying to deal with, but... How much did... So he's definitely Spadef. If you're ever Spadef, I could actually go hard Dugtrio. I'm thinking about, is that the play I want to make though? Do I want to risk that play? I'll go for another Shadow Ball, just in case he wants to Skull predicting my Dugtrio. Yep. Cursed Body, Skull has been disabled. Oh, what a beautiful turn of events. To be honest, I'm just going to stay in now. Because I, I could try with Duck Trail, but I expect my opponent to switch out, fearing Duck Trail to want to come in. You should switch out, fearing Duck Trail. If I were you, I would switch out, fearing Duck Trail. Uh, because Cursed Body has come through in the clutch. I don't want my opponent going Feral Thorn, though. So I'm going to keep clicking, um, keep clicking Shadow Ball. Why are you left, buddy? I never went for sub, right? No, good. So uh, he's under the impression I'm Scarf Gar. Which means Coco won't come out. Did he get a disconnect? FBZ. Yeah, so that, that turn, I, I could have went right into Dugtrio and trapped it. But my thought process was, okay, your Scald is gone. Are you really going to risk this? Oh, and I get a Spadef drop. So after so many Shadow Balls, I finally get a Spadef drop. Which means I can throw off another shadow ball and get a kill here because I do 2 a KO something Feral Thorn should be 2 a KO'd Zard Wise is my opponent's switch well that'll easily be 2 a KO'd by shadow ball if it doesn't go down takes damage I, I'm trying to give him the impression that I am uh, actually choice scarf Gengar also now his scald is going to be a lot weaker so, I really am trying to give him the impression that I am Choice Scarf Gengar. So, it doesn't go Coco. Which is something I could see him doing. I could also see him going on to Feramosa if he Scarf and go for Ice Beam. Ice Beam is a play my opponent can make. Landorus has no Earthquake switchings. Coco is good for the Ice Beam, but... Besides that, nothing else. Yeah, that's fine. And oh, the crit actually helped me. Lovely. Because <laughs> I eat the next one now. <laughs> that's funny. I could just throw off a thunderbolt. The crit actually helped me. Because <laughs> I activated my Magu Berry. Oh, nice. He went into Coco as well. So get us some beautiful damage with that. Put him in range of the Bullet Punch 100%. Which I will gladly take. And Faramosa is looking very, 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 very weak. Can't click High Jump Kick versus my team. Because of all the mons I have. And we're even able to win the, uh, the double trade. Right there, so... Couldn't have asked for a better series of turns. I'd love to go Gengar and absorb this, but I want a never ending nightmare. Fermos is at 63%. How much does Scissors Bullet Punch do? I'm not going to risk a uh, high jump kick right here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to risk high jump kick actually knocking me out. Plus, um, Landers deals with any double my opponent can make by earthquaking everything. I guess he could be protect seeds, but I don't think that matters either. Like, I don't care about a T spike at all. Scarfinger would actually have been amazing in this game. That's fine. Get up as many spikes as you want. I don't think they matter. I'll always be able to bullet punch. As long as I keep Gengar alive, you can't hide jump kick spam. 
So I'll keep earthquaking as well. Nice. And we'll go Gengar now. Um, I think you either spike here or protect. Which means that Gengar is a good mid-ground play. I, don't, I want to keep Landers alive just because he can't spam high jump kick. Mm-hmm. And I always have the never ending nightmare after. So we're gonna keep kick focus blast on his protect. I always have never ending nightmare. Uh, to be honest, I'm actually gonna throw off a never ending nightmare now. Cause knocking out Toxapex means that I win with um either I knock out Ferrothorn or I knock out Toxapex this turn, and that means I win with Scizor. All of them mean I win with Scizor. So Toxapex comes out, you're gonna take this never ending nightmare. And that should go down at 55% with the burn. Oh, come on. It's Pedef Tox effects, man. But now you have no Shadow Ball switchings. So either way, it works out for me. At least Gengar weakened Tox effects that turn. Still would have been nice to actually, you know, knock it out. Or dash Pokemon. And I actually just win by sacking every single Mon and then going Scizor and clicking SD a couple times. You're gonna go for Ice Beam here? Or just U-turn? Yep, U-turn. Beast boost! <laughs> that don't matter though. Plus six is or wins the game. I don't even have to go plus six is or to be honest. I'm gonna go Duck Trail first because my opponent um, doesn't recover enough since I have low HP. Click the Adamant Quake. It's going to do about the same damage as, uh, or a little bit more actually, than the Earthquake from my uh, Landers. 26%, okay. Beautiful damage. Yeah, you don't recover enough though. You don't recover enough to the point that you could take the Landers Onslaught after, and then I just bullet punch him and win. I mean, Gengar still put in work this game, but it wasn't as not, uh, enough. Uh, Scarf Gengar would have been great as well. Obviously. Because Coco wouldn't have been able to come in, but then I wouldn't have been able to get rid of Toxapex. I also should have just trapped Toxapex earlier on. I don't think... I don't I, I don't think I would have went for that last spike there. Because Scissor recovers always. I just click U-turn as well and knock you out. Yeah, because now you don't have... Baramosa doesn't take Earthquake at the percentages at any Earthquake from uh, Landers anyway. So I'll go ahead and get this kill right here. This might be the long way to win. I could probably just set up with Scizor and win the game, yes. But I don't want to... Um, uh, I don't want to have to U-turn out and be forced to switch, you know? I want to go for Swords Dance and just win the game. That's the thing about having you turn on scissor it's good for during the game when you're actually like you know scouting around and getting the players that double protect was annoying um but that is such as pokemon there you go that's a little gyro ball right there okay and we'll just sack landers here that's the up to plus six and win after with my uh scissor so protect should happen first you already saw stealth and earthquake you you should know I don't have uh, Sword Dance. You saw Z-Moves, so you know I'm not Dual Dance. Because uh, Dual Dance is commonly running Z-Moves, if anything. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. Get off your Protect. I just go Scizor and win. <laughs> I actually go for Roost first, and then I, uh, and I SD up. He's, he's fighting a losing game, but uh, at least he's... <laughs> at least he's adamant about losing. <laughs> Because it, it is over. A scissor with enough roost does not lose. I eventually get plus six and I knock off Arrowthorn. Or at least two I KO it. I love the music in the background, man. I eventually get a crit too. <laughs> That's funny. I get a crit on the turn, he dies. And uh, Pheromos is going to come out. I click bullet punch and I win. That might have been... What if Pheromos will lose? No way. Yeah. 
And it was, it was about time, like, I could happen anyway, but... What if Feramosa has... A fighting a rock? That's a, that's the fighting move that gives you priority. That is the fighting move that gives you priority. <laughs> Good game. Alright, well, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed this live. Um, of course, if you did, feel free, of course, to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.